Uh, I actually have been working with the wet felting process that these works were made with for I think 12 years now and it's also the first time I've ever shown this work uh, without painting at all in the room so I'm really excited about this exhibition. The process by which these are made is uh, a wet process, meaning that rather than needle felting, which is often used in machine-made felts, this is a slightly more organic uh, process in the sense that the materials can shift around while you're working with them. You can't really place them too accurately, and so I think it lends itself towards this sort of painterly look that some of the pieces have, because they're, they are literally shifting and like fluidly moving around to a certain extent. It's the oldest form of textile production. It's been around for thousands of years. People have been making homes and garments with this process way before the advent of any kind of mechanized textile production. So it's a really cool thing to me. It has a kind of like will of its own. So when I was making these double-sided pieces, I always had to have one side that felt a little, like it was extra organic. I couldn't be trying to do something too careful because it would never work. There's a sort of like certain amount of working with the way that the fibers want to move that I'm speculating about how it'll look, but I don't fully know beforehand. Once you start to move towards recognizable images that have been, even if they've been abstracted, there's a sort of like flipping or a kind of, is it just marks? Oh no, I see something. And that phenomenon of the brain kind of filling things in is something that I really enjoy. So natural horror is this film genre that some element of the natural environment is creating the sense of, of horror. So a foreboding even, a sense of dread that one can't place. Ultimately, this exhibition actually feels very like uplifting once I'm in it, but I also feel like these forms can feel quite jagged and aggressive at times. Um, the, the materials of the frame, I was trying to get this sense of it being made out of something like algae that it has this kind of like gnarly quality to it. And so I, I wanted to address this, this goal of mine of, of like making something kind of pleasing but also a little bit disquieting or a little bit like nasty materially speaking. It kind of has the feeling of muscle tissue and that like those kind of issues of physical adhesion within the body are definitely something that I am interested in as well, like that that element of organic form like kind of makes you feel this this physical sensation within yourself or this like recognition of like that the materiality of it is similar to your own materiality.